Well, if you love art that ignites an uplifting energy in your living space, you are going to absolutely love our next guest, Coral Noel Yang. Uh, Young. Uh, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Coral Noel Young is a multidisciplinary painter based in Auckland, New Zealand, who specialises in expressive, figurative and abstract paintings with oil and acrylic. Coral, we're so excited to have you come in the studio. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. And now, Coral, you've brought some paintings into the studio. Yes. Tell us a little bit about those. Yes, I'm working on a series to be for a solo show called Spread Your Wings. So um, this, uh, this idea comes from uh, when I was praying, you know, and uh, I just feel like uh, during this uh, COVID lockdown, we've been in such a restriction and a lot of uh, uh, challenges, but it's more like uh, we're, we have been like uh, the caterpillars inside this cocoon. But now it's time like for the butterfly, you know, we are transformed. It's time for us to spread our wings. <laughs> yeah. So this, this whole series yeah. is surrounding this idea. Yeah. What a beautiful description. How would you describe your art? Where do you get your inspiration from? Yes, um, so I would say my art is very expressive, you know, figurative and abstract. I use very bold and uh, vibrant colors. I love the movements, uh, you know, in the brushworks. And uh, my goal is to evoke wonder and uh, joy and imagination for my audience. And I take a lot of inspiration from nature. Just New Zealand is so beautiful with the flower, the ocean, the landscape, and also people's stories. Um, uh, also my prayer time with God, you know, I get ideas from him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unusual that you have so many different styles, abstract, uh, you know, realism, yeah. all sorts of different styles. Do you have a particular favorite? Yeah, um, even though they're all very different I, um, styles, but I feel it's all God's life flowing out of me and I'm expressing my voice. But I'm very happy now I have this figurative and abstract, uh, two different styles, but they feed and inform each other. And so for the figurative, uh, I get to tell stories, I get to tell a message. And like uh, this one painting I brought, uh, dances with the waves. Uh, the idea actually came from when um, the Ukrainian war broke out uh, and we were just praying in this small home group uh, and we were all very devastated and heartbroken, you know, praying for the country. And we were singing this song called uh, Peace Be Still. And then the lyric says that uh, peace be still, um, say the word and I will step on waters until I'm dancing in the deeps. And it was very powerful. I just feel like God was saying, um, I'm going to meet you in the middle of your troubles and in the mm. challenges and don't run away because, uh, because I'm bigger than the waves, you know? Mm. So um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is how I get ideas. Um, from, you know, prayers and, uh, and inspiration, yeah. Now, you also worked as a filmmaker for many years in Hollywood. Uh, can you tell us about that and how that has influenced yes. your art or vice versa, perhaps? Yeah, I was very fortunate. I was trained in the classical, you know, filmmaking. You know, we were, like, uh, trained to make, a, like, a, a Star Wars or a Schindler's List, that, that kind of, you know, movies. Um, so I felt... It's uh, the visual language and also storytelling. It's the same kind of passion I bring from filmmaking to my painting. And, and I just love colors, shapes, movements, and whether it's in filmmaking or whether it's uh, through my paint brushes. And uh, the same impetus of uh, wanting to learn about people, about their story, you know, continue to um, propel me to paint. You were telling us a story about a, an, an older woman that you were asked yes. to do a painting on yes. and how that sort of story evolved. Can you, can you share that with us? Yes, um, I was asked to do a portrait for grandma and she's a praying grandma and she prays for her children, her grandchildren. And she passed away and uh, her granddaughter just really miss her. So she commissioned me to do this portrait. So 
I just really want to get into uh, this family. I actually went to the old house. I took photos of the, the fruit trees, and uh, I know that uh, grandma loves the twiwi, you know, so I did a lot of this research and put a you know, painting together, and then they really loved it. And that tells the whole story, the, the, story. Uh, the background to what she loved and all what that sort loves. of thing. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, how art influences your faith and how your faith influences your art? Yes, I feel art is the way God reaches me, and art making is actually God's gift to me. Um, um, when I was a little kid, my my dad brought back uh, this uh, uh, illustrative uh, Bible from America with this beautiful lithograph of uh, Bible stories. And that actually was an uh, impetus for me want to get to know God because it's so beautiful. And so nowadays uh, I feel coming to the studio in front of the easel painting is my prayer, it's my time to be with God. And also he teaches me about him you know, how he is a creator, the galaxy, you know, the nature, his creation, the wonder, mm. the mystery. So he's teaching me how wonderful he is through art. You, you, it's almost like God has given you this gift and then you can express that gift yes. uh, to other people. Yes, um, I feel God actually wants everybody to know how wonderful he has made them because yes. each one of us are so unique and we have a um, unique ex expression, we have a voice, and I want my art to be able to ignite that magic, that wonder in everyone. Mm. And that's why I think God wants me to continue to pursue painting. If people are interested yeah. in looking at your art, purchasing your art, yeah. how can they go about that? Yes, um, my website, noelyoungart.com. It's a place they can find all my works. Uh, they can also sign up for my newsletter because I have shows, I have workshops that they can get all the information from me.